Okay guys, so just want to pop up another quick video. So I'm leaving my first job this morning, um, banging down the road to my second job and it was a consultation for a particular operator. Now I went in and I went in to see him because he's being prosecuted for failing to, failing to download his tight graph unit within the required time scale or time frame. Or frequency um, which we all know is 90 days now we get this coming into our office on a, on a weekly basis nearly where guys are failing to download and run through an analysis program okay so during the, the consultation <clears throat> I happened to notice then that he had a couple of vehicles in the yard that weren't on his license and I kind of pulled him on it a wee bit pulled him on it as and advised him so he turned around and says to me no no we only have him out for a day or a couple of days you know and it's not the end of the world and we hear this all the time, you know, every time we go out somewhere we hear it. But the problem is that we're the guys that then go and um, give you support and protection when you're caught and when you're done for using vehicles not in accordance with an operator's license. So, I was chatting away to man away and um, during the conversation I discovered who the driver was, you know, of these, these particular vehicles. So when I was looking at the analysis, I um, was fit to go through and look at these drivers. And sure enough, um, I was fit to highlight that the boys were driving them vehicles, them one day higher vehicles for up to six and seven weeks apiece. So anyway, the conversation kind of got a wee bit heated and he says, you're always fighting something. Every time you come in here or anytime you go anywhere, you find something. So I says, yeah, well, that's what you pay for, you know, really. So um, <clears throat> in the middle of this conversation, the guy in the back office came out and he looked a wee bit, he looked a wee bit um, scared if nothing else. And he said that when the detecting officer was in his yard, um, when they came in about the attack raft downloads, um, his colleague was outside and he was actually standing beside these vehicles and he was writing down stuff in his notepad and um, he was also taking pictures. So the guy, the operator I was dealing with, he started to panic a wee bit, shouting at the other guy saying, why didn't you tell me this? And then he said, well, they didn't make me aware of this, so it should be all right. Now the bottom line is the detecting officer, of course, are gonna run them vehicles through. They have looked at the data already, like I have this morning, and they have detected that you're using the vehicle with no operator's license, or they're not listing operator's license. More importantly, is that they will see you using that vehicle. Um, although you're telling me a vehicle has broke down, um, or it's in the garage, or whatever's wrong with it, uh, that's a load of shit, because you're using them vehicles, plus you're using another additional vehicles, and this is how they catch them out. Okay, so that's just a quick update guys. We, we deal with this all the time, but please be very mindful. You know the story. Vehicle units are 90 days, and if you're running any sort of vehicle on the road that has to be on an operator's license, make sure it's on the operator's license because it's so easy to detect. The guy then said to me there's no rental agreement, and um, the rental agreement shows one day or two days or, or whatever it is, you know. More importantly then is he doesn't have the vehicle locked into his company card, but nobody really cares about that because the data of the driver's card will hold all the information that you need. And that's something that he never thought of, okay? So that is it guys. Um, if you need any protection, support, or training, give us a shout at tctgroup.com. That is all.